Hello everybody and welcome back to some Nuclear Throne. We are back again and I know it has been some time since we had Nuclear Throne on the channel and I do apologise for that. I'm going to play as Hunter here. I just feel like playing as Hunter. Um, yeah, I really do apologise for that. It has been quite a bit of time. Uh, also, I like how my crosshair looks like the um, crosshair with my ability. That's kind of cool. But yeah, for those of you that don't know, for those of you that aren't on my Discord, um, essentially I went on holiday to Greece for um, a week, but... I went, I left on Saturday and got back on Sunday morning, um, which meant that I wasn't able to record any videos for the for those weekends. I had some prepared uh, Binding of Isaac videos already, but I didn't have any Nuclear Throne videos prepared, so I wasn't able to have them ready to go. So unfortunately for a few weeks there, we didn't have any Nuclear Throne. I really do apologize for those of you that like that series. I realize there's a few of you that stopped by my channel specifically for this. I realised that um, it's one of the one of the favourite series. So, oopsie. So, um, yeah, we're back. At least we're back. Um, I'm probably going to be hot, hot stinky dookie, as as proven here. Oop, just restarted the game by accident. I'm probably going to be like really bad at this game for um, a hot minute. As I find my footing again, I'm probably not going to be the hottest at this. That doesn't mean I'm not going to take the hard route, though. Doesn't mean I'm not going to take the hard route. But yeah, uh, we'll, we'll try our best. Oh, we got an inverted floor. The, the choice of inverted or other, I'm going to guess the inverted. Um, I'm going to take impact risks because I think it's a lot of fun with the uh, new updates. Ooh, this floor is looking... Oh, wait. We got the inverted version of this floor. That is not what I was expecting. Um, I didn't realise that having opened that, it would take us here, but... I mean, I'm down for it. But yeah, impact wrists on this floor, I actually think is uh, pretty damn good. Because it's opening up a lot of wiggle room for us. And then also killing some additional enemies on top of everything else, which is really nice. I really like the updated impact wrists. The fact that it can... I'm not quite sure what happened there, I'll be honest. I was just about to say, I really like the, the updated impact wrists. The ability to destroy walls is just so... I don't know, it's so much fun. It makes it feel so much more impactful. Get it? Impactful for impact wrists? But yeah, that was, that was a little bit of a bummer that I died there at the end. I, I killed the entire area without taking a single hit. And then one enemy two taps me. Just upsetting. But it is what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm just playing like, like Dookie. Look, look, look. Look at all this damage I'm taking. I told you. I told you, I'm going to be bad at this for a little while here. Whoa. Eagle Eyes has, um... What the hell? <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing this is a heck of a meme right here. Just because uh, Eagle Eyes was, was getting quite a lot of effects. It had all the way up to sure damage indicators. So now it's got increased luck, more damage, faster fire rate, instant loop, increased max level by five, more rad drops, every kill over heals for six, get two ultra mutations, sit on the throne, every enemy morphs into a chicken, the chicken will drop a high tier weapon, get quad SBC, it costs two ammo, air hondo every time you shoot. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think that uh, the vast majority of that isn't true. <laughs> Uh, I think that's just the developer memeing because uh, everyone was everyone was uh, memeing on the developer for adding so many effects to Eagle Eyes. So he, he uh, had a little fun with that. I, I appreciate that. That's funny. But anyways, I really do like Eagle Eyes with this mod. It is a pretty significant upgrade over what it used to be. Um, so we can we can do quite a lot with it, and we will, and we will certainly try to. So um. Da -da 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 -da. I don't really know what to take here. Marked enemies take 20% more damage. That's decent enough. I don't use the marking ability all that much, but I can. It's it's really not that hard to use more. All I need to do is right click. And honestly, 20% more damage is pretty damn good. Obviously, certain enemies like in the early game, we're just not going to need that for. But Big Bandit here. An extra 20% damage to him. Hell yeah, I'll take that. That's a freebie, that is. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference early game anyways, but still. It's nice little bonus that we're getting there for no reason whatsoever. Um, Alkaline Saliva. I'm going to go with Insomnia, actually. I think Insomnia is a little better for us early game. 
It says that we're doing 80 damage there. I don't know if that's true. Beautiful. Yeah, it's making it's making clearing house a little bit easier here, isn't it? But full ammo still as well. Is that it? That felt, that felt like a very quick clear of sewers. There's got to be something down this way, right? Ah, oh, there's an assassin down there. Okay, cool. Okay. I was a bit concerned that I cleared it that fast then, but there you go. It's, it's opened up a little bit. But yeah, certainly good to be back playing some Nuclear Throne. It is uh, a game that I adore. I think it's just... It's one of the roguelikes that I play, that I play like, on my channel and have played a lot that I find... Excuse me, little Miss Steely. Um, I just find it, it's so... It's so much casual fun. I feel like a lot of the other roguelikes I play, at least like at the level that I play them at, aren't very casual anymore. Especially like Binding of Isaac. While it is a very casual game, because I'm like somewhat expected to be good at it, um, I don't find it a super casual experience. Like I, I still do obviously enjoy it a lot. I don't dislike playing it at all. Um, but yeah, I don't find it a super casual experience anymore because I'm. I feel like I'm somewhat expected to do decently at it. Extra damage there, driver. Nice. Ooh, we could very easily take some hot damage here. So let's be careful. Nice. Okay, we get a reverse floor here. Excuse me, assassin. Thank you. Try and get some health on this next floor, please. This probably won't be a super, super long video. Um, probably won't be like an extra length one just because I'm recording this quite late at night. But I'll have a bit of fun with this. I'll certainly get a few runs in. Okay, there's that, there's that health we were looking for. I love the fact that I can um, thingy tag the invisible enemies there. Inverted big dog. Um, swarm. Yeah. I just want to say his explosion is going to be massive. I'll attach that to you for now. Machine gun. We don't need that, but there you go. I like the addition to uh, the addition of swarm. It's pretty good. We've got a mini incinerator here. I'll take the mini incinerator. I realise we've got two things that use the same ammo now, which isn't particularly great. But honestly, it's it's also not terrible either, because it just means that all our ammo drops will be for the the right ammo now. We've got an auto grenade launcher, and also yeah, we'll, we'll we'll probably end up swapping it out pretty soon anyways. It's not going to be something that's permanent. Mini incinerator versus lava enemies is uh kind of interesting. I didn't expect to be coming to lava world here, but I guess if you go inverted big dog, you just get lava world. I guess that's just how that works. But I ain't complaining, like I said. Um, trigger fingers. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, let's go. Let's, I've never tried trigger fingers with puffy cheeks. I don't know if it works the way I'm thinking it will, but I'm thinking that could immensely increase my fire rate, right? Why do I get damage numbers against him? I get damage numbers against everyone else. Maybe it's because he's got some sort of shielding. Dude, I'm taking some hot damage here. Okay, that was kind of, that was kind of close. But we got we got Mr. Dragon Boy here. We got a quadruple shotgun. Let's take the back route first here, while we've got the uh, the sleepy sleepy nighttime pills going. We got an accelerator here. Boss is activated while we're nowhere near him. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing for us. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this right now. Yeah, not great apparently because I just insta died there. Not great apparently. Okay, let's let's not bother with the aiming right now. I want to make a weird build. I want to get some really strange interactions going. And I think, I don't know, I think, um, I don't know, the knockback one, whatever it's called, is, is a good start for that. The one that I was talking about earlier on. I can't remember the name of it now. 
Okay, you we can aim at. Skull, don't eat my shots, please. Good, good. Oh, I did not mean to go straight through that, but hey ho. Um, our clan saliva is pretty good here defensively. Yeah, I didn't mean to go straight through here. I'll be honest. I, I, I like I pressed it and I knew I was coming here, but I didn't mean to go straight through the port once I killed the boss. That's more so what I mean. God, we got a lot of things blocking shots here. Dude, can you get these massive anchors out of my face, please? Okay, let's take the inverted again. Du -du 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 -du. Gamma Guts I'll take. I think Gamma Guts on a stage like this is important. Just because I, I don't really know what's what I'm coming up against here. Okay, we've got a lot of poison. The poison is hurting me, but it did heal me there. Now I'm actually getting hurt. Oh god, I'm getting frozen by this guy. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> This is all sorts of hecked up. I'm confused. These guys are puffing out poison. Oh my lord. This is hella confusing. I'm ha having a real hard time keeping track of things right now. Just get in here. Oh, we missed out on the bloody upgrade anyways, you goddamn idiot. You goddamn moron. Take a sip of my drink there. I'm not confident with this run right now. A shovel makes me a little more confident, though, I'll admit. It's it's not the best idea with these freezing guys about, I'll be honest. The fact that we've got freezing and poison as two of the main elements interacting with us on this uh, stage here is, yeah, not to my forte. And that has been proven by my, uh, my swift demise. I've not, I've not seen some of these inverted floors before, surprisingly. Mini lightning pistol, now... I reckon I could get behind this. I think the lightning weapons are um, of, a, of an interesting different breed here. We got another inverted floor here. Wow. Getting lucky slash unlucky with us, depending on how you see it. Um, I think we're going to go with Rage. Yeah, Rage is a lot of fun. We'll go with Rage. Apparently, Rage has had some updates as well. It's been changed a little bit. I don't know how much I trust an electric weapon for this specifically. Because it's, as you can clearly see, not particularly accurate. Like, they do a lot of damage, but they don't always do exactly what you intend them to do. Which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I'll take a Jawbreaker, though. It's a lot of fun. And with that Jawbreaker, we'll add some radiation onto it, I think. That seems good to me. Dude, how are you not dead? I'm missing shots like crazy here. Right, through here we go. And away we go again. Little concern about my health again this time here. Let's go with Kraken. I'm going to deck this thing out. I can't remember what the first thing I put on it. Was it radiation? I don't know if that just drops more rads or what. I know it's useful either way. Okay, this guy's going to be tricky. Let's sort of kite him a little bit. Luckily, we got him. The cracking of it all is helping a lot right now. I was saying I wanted a bit of a wacky different something else. This is certainly proving to be that. Okay, nice. I'm liking this. I'm liking the setup. Um, and then to that... I think we had scarier face, and then to that, I reckon we had Euphoria here. Obviously, we've got that increased fire rate right now from Rage. You can see the little fire indicator above our head. The longer we go without getting hit, the more that'll build. So I'm hoping that that continues for a good amount of time. Easy, easy stage there. Um, da -da 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 -da. I think we go with glass cannon. Just just for that insane damage output. Enemies have lower health. All that good stuff. No, oh, you bastard. Bloody director shots. 
coming in and ruining my fire streak. What are you doing over there? Are you... Are you alright, sirs? What the hell's going on down there? I'm really not sure, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, I don't, I don't want to mess with the director shop, guys. They seem to be doing some weird stuff. Okay, we got more crack. I'm going to go with Splinter because I don't think you can add double Kraken. And also Splinter just sounds good. Okay, we get Big Dog straight away here. Well, he's dead. This is good, <laughs> considering the level of this weapon. This is going immensely right now. Holy shit, this is a, this is a huge stage. What on, how is there so many enemies back here? The stage is gargantuan. That's obscene. <laughs> um, ooh, I think I'm gonna go with, I realize I should go for Rhino skin here, but I just like the idea of impact wrists. I was going for a wacky run. And this is giving me that wacky run that I desire. This just sounds like more fun to me. And oh my God, is it proving to be, holy hell. Do you know what we need now? We need shot. Oh god, I touched that guy. Why did I touch that guy? I'll go with a scythe as my secondary here. That's pretty cool. Get back up to full health, full ammo. Splint was a good choice. Dude, there's so much going on here. It's bizarre. Um, Alkaline Saliva is a must right now. There's so much crazy shit happening. I don't know if it's going to be any good against bosses, but I guess we're about to find out. It's pretty good against bosses. We found that out. We have found that out. Okay. Now, I think we take Boiling Veins here because our HP is so low. I don't know about you, but I think that's a good idea. Rather than gaining more HP, we gain protection at the HP we're at. Toxic Ion Cannon. Interesting, but not my, not my shtick right now. This is, this is a very fun build that we've got going on here. We've also got an inverted floor here, which honestly I'm not that into right now. We've already got the uh, additions to our weapon that we want. The only thing I could add is freezing in, in place of radiation, maybe. Freezing is, is always good. What on earth? Mr. Policeman, how could you? Okay, through we go. We'll maybe get freezing through here anyways. Lightning. I think I'd rather have lightning than radiation, you know. Um, replace mod 2 Kraken, mod 3 Splinter. Definitely want to replace radiation over the three of those, because I think radiation just gives us more radiation. I don't really need that right now. I'm getting to max level anyways. Lightning, however. Mixed with Kraken, you say? That sounds like a, a really fun recipe for some, for some some destruction. And we're about to find out how fun it is by seeing how quickly we kill Little Hunter. 
don't like the amount the little hunter's moving right now. He's dead already. Four solid shots on him. He's gone. He's out of there. What the hell's the jaw crusher? Oh, god damn. It's like a better version of what we have. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to keep the jaw crusher and maybe get some upgrades on that too. How about that? Jawbreaker into jaw crusher. Sounds like a good plan to me. But this, this one, this one's pretty good as is. Yeah, this one's got some sauce as is. It's got like just the right upgrades to make it pretty mental. The recipe for something special. We cleared that stage in record time there. We really did. Um, this is tough. There's, all of these are good. More consistent healing sounds great. Less damage. I think we go with more consistent healing over, over all of these, I'll be honest. I think that's the one we need most. Okay, nice. Everything's taken care of over there. Fire it's getting pretty wacky now as well. Blood bubbler. That it for the stage? Wow, that's it. Okay, I forgot I forgot about you, I'll be honest. I apologize for that. God damn, he really does some wall destruction there, doesn't he? Wow, he died that fast. God damn. Definitely gotta keep my distance from, from things that can deal good contact damage to us, because they could kill us very quick. But otherwise, doing pretty well. The the bears in the big blue house, a big greenhouse should I say. Or uh, probably our biggest danger right now. The hell is left? Enemy up here that's just decided to chill out, I think. There you go. The palace. But like, the fact that we're one-shotting with like, a gun we got from floor one on enemies in the palace is pretty insane. Oh god, thank god we, are, uh, we had Alkaline Saliva there. Okay, we got Ultra. I think after getting Ultra here, we come back over this way. Pop you boy. Oh, you didn't actually open up for us yet. Okay. Cool. Pop in here real quick. Okay. The further away you are, the more damage you do. That's great. Your projectiles herman on enemies, that's also great. Enemies and your projectiles herman on your marker and place multiple markers. Ooh. Mmm. The first two sound real good. The first two sound real, real good. I'm going to go with this. This one gets some blood on it. Health dispenser there in case we needed that. Right, so with this big boy, we want to keep our distance. I don't really know how much additional damage we're going to get. What the hell's this little marking over the top of you there? I'm not sure what this is about. But I'm keeping him basically on the edge of my screen at all times here. I reckon he's gonna die pretty fast. Yeah. Beautiful. Again, I think you're going to die even faster than the first. 
Although you are slightly more dangerous. There you go, yeah. Very quick, very quick. Beautiful. Okay, we're, we've, this is pretty good for a first run back, I'd have to say. Got the heavy hunter sniper if you wanted that. Now, every single wall in existence has been destroyed, which I very much like. Did you teleport or did you die? I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> the amount of destruction caused by killing one group of enemies is hilarious. Yeah, they're, they're just insane, like, chain reaction damage that we get from impact wrists right now is, is, is nothing short of insanity. Shotgun lance sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, that marking is, is telling us where the effective distancing is. I see that now. The damage numbers. The healing. The just atrocities that we are causing. It's obscene. We're clearing stages like it's nothing with a very, very low tier weapon. We can see, uh, I can see that we're doing like point damage, like we're doing like 6.3 sort of thing sometimes. You see that? isn't normal. Also, you see the fire up of our head and how big and bulbous and red it is? That's good for us. That's, bo that's giving us bonuses from rage. I can't remember what bonuses it gives. I can't remember if it's just fire rate or if there's some other stuff in there too. I feel like there's definitely some other stuff in there too. Big assassin, I always forget about big assassin. Oh, bollocks, the truck hit me. But, Alkaline Saliva saved me, so it's fine. Big assassin, what are you doing? Are you gonna actually fight me, or are you just gonna dive around like a loser? Apparently, big assassin dies. Don't know where, don't know when. Don't care. Just look at the absolute destruction here, it's insane. I love this. I love this so much. That was close to me hitting myself there because of the uh, reflective damage. But I got away with it somehow. Where are you? Big old bitch. Okay, so there's Kraken. We've got Kraken. We need Electric now. I'd really like to use the draw Jaw Crusher. Not that I need it at all. I'd just like to use it. Okay, Big Dog got hit there. I don't even know where Big Dog is right now. Okay, we actually got hit here. But Rage doesn't... It doesn't deplete all of Rage. It just depletes some. So we're still in the running. We're still fine. We can still rebuild. Fucking stupid birds, man. Stupid birds. This stage is likely to be pretty wild. Especially with all the Technomancies. 
They're going to die fairly quick. Look at that, that's beautiful. <laughs> I love the way when they die, they get like displaced from their like actual spawn location. Like they're stationary things and they're just like, mm, whoopsie. Oh, look at that fire rate we've got going on right now. Like, we are going to run out of ammo pretty quick if this guy doesn't die soon. Yeah, I'm gonna say, so I hope he does, but he did. That's fine. This is where I'm thinking we'll need the other version of the shotgun, just in case the boss is like that. Excuse me, sir. My goodness. We actually took some damage there. I was hoping for a wacky build and I pretty much got what I asked for today. Big disc is in the house. It seems to be lobbing a lot of discs. I don't know where the actual boss itself is. It might be already dead. Seems to be already dead. I think we've lost a lot of our rage here, unfortunately. Projectile speed or weapon drop. Both of those are pretty meh. I guess we'll take projectile speed for now. We can also go and claim a few prizes here, actually. Because uh, we have killed a few of these bosses. So we'll get max HP. Oh, we only get one of them so far. Whatever. Big assassin. It's fine. We did this recently. We actually completed all of these. It was pretty cool. We got to fight like uh, a, a secret boss. And it was very tough. The max HP goes a long way for us right now. Oh, hello, little hunter. I, for some reason, was not expecting you. I don't know why. Oh, god damn. That was close. Okay, we lost a lot of our rage here. Good to go, though. Where's all the, like, mass groupings of enemies we've got on the first few floors? Kind of interesting. Oh, fuck me. Got hit by a bus. Okay, they're all chilling out over here for some reason. Next to Hyper Crystal. Ah, oh, balls. I walked right into that guy. Anyways, that was a fun run nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed our return to Nuclear Throne. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.